perfect <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that it might be to do with the fact that that's just the permadeath thing. So let me go. I tell you what, if I if I play, will you be able to join mine? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Should we do that? Yeah. Is it coming on? Let's see if this is streaming. Oh, on here. Right, I believe we are actually streaming. Uh, so, this is Pathfinder here for AGT TV, and uh, this is a tour of uh, Giuseppe's recently finished. Sorry, Zepp's recently finished mega farm in the heli quadrant. We're just going to check that we've got audio. Okay, right. Zep, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Hello. we'll check that your voice is coming through as well. Excellent, that's all working. Okay, so, uh, are you going to join my game? I've got an icon for your orb at the moment, but would you be able to uh, okay. join my game? Let me get, yeah, let me get out and I'll join your game. Okay. Just one second. Now I'll fly to where I think your freighter is going to be in a minute. Okay. Right, while you're sorting that out, let me just explain what's going on here. So, um, this is in the early quadrant uh, our uh, hub here in the AGT and uh, what we did was we, we pre-named the uh, the systems um, anyone from the AGT who is involved in Milland will know why we pre-named them so this is the AGT Jules Verne system and uh, in the Jules Verne system uh, Zepp has built a mega farm and the idea to this farm is that within just this one system you can gather all the resources that you need to make uh, is it stasis devices or is it uh, fusion igniters Zep? Uh, well actually it's both uh, the farm produces is uh, 18 circuit board okay. 9 uh, living glass and 9 uh, liquid explosive so um, uh, the, the, each gas farm has 20 gas harvesters so once you gather all the components you just uh, are able to do whatever you want basically and I usually tend to do stasis device more but just right just, uh, um, yes. I was trying to join your game by the way uh, but it doesn't look let me uh, join your game oh I don't know why if yeah if you can't then we might have to just have your orb guiding us around no, you can send me an invite. Ah, that's a good idea. Okay, let's do that. So, invite friends. Okay, inviting you to join the game. Okay, invite sent. Okay, received. Okay. Joining. Okay. Uh, now, earlier when I was uh, finding my way here, my freighter was in the system, so I've taken that away somewhere else because I know about the problems we had last time. We tried to do a joint tour with someone in the AGT, and my freighter was in the system, and it just kept crashing. So hopefully, this will work. Okay, well, I won't call my freighter then. Yes, uh, it should be all right with just one freighter, I think. Well, okay. Because I mean, your freighter was in this system uh, uh, last time you were on, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that's right. So it, right. it may still be there. It told me that you're joining my game. It hasn't told yep. me that you are. That's right. Is that you? No, that's an available Sorry. frigate. All right, if, if your freighter does start the game crashing, or if the game crashes, then um, I might ask you... Oh, you've entered the system. I might ask you to take your yep. freighter somewhere else for a bit. But uh, I can see you as a blue icon now. I'm heading in your direction. Are you on your freighter at the moment? No, 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 no. I will not Oop. call my freighter. Let's make it easy. Oh, I see. Okay. So you're out in space at the moment. I've just gone past you. 
Let's see. I can see your icon. Can I see your ship? Oh, yeah, I can see your ship! You? Hello! Yeah, see yes, you. there oh. we are. <laughs> right, what's the best place to head for to start the tour? To start, I'll say we start with the... Um, oh, very the, similar ships. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think we start with the Mega Farm. Yeah, okay. Which is uh, basically just the main uh, uh, Mega Farm. Where did you go? I lost you. And uh, you can you can follow me. I don't know if you see the blue uh, beacon. Uh, no, I won't be able to see your beacons. I'm being scanned oh, by pirates. If you tell me which which planet to head for. Sure. Uh, the planet is uh, uh, Colberry. Right. Hold on. I'm being uh, followed by pirates, so I'm going to have to do the the rubbish thing of just going as quickly as I can away from them. Uh, right. Sorry. Which oh. planet? Colberry. It's not telling me what the name of the planet is there. What's it look like? That's, it's uh, behind the, the other planet, that's why you don't see it. Oh, behind the big one? Yeah. Right, if I head off... Oh, I can see your icon now. Perfect. Just yeah. uh, uh, follow my icon. I've just, just got to get out of the range of these pirates, and then I'll be able to pulse drive. There you go. Oh, they've gone. Right, I'll head towards your icon. So I know this is uh, this is a Viking system, and uh, but what's it like? Is it uh, is it very hazardous? This system? Uh, I can tell you the truth. I <laughs> don't remember. I've got I the information the on the ammo here. Oh, prosperous, it's prosperous, and it is? level is tranquil. Tranquil, so right? E1. Okay, right. I've caught up with you. So uh, okay. can we see the planet Perfect. we're going to now? Uh, oh yeah, there, there we are. Uh, Colberry. Ah, a nice blue earth looking like planet, is it? Yes, there we are. So I'll head towards your base on that planet. Here we go. Right. So what I can say, yeah, now now I can take my eyes off the screen. It's Viking Mining Prosperous. Um, this was one of the systems that when, when I first got to Yeheli, uh, I named this system and it was one I was considering um, making my base in. But I wanted to explore a bit. But I quite liked this system. I can't remember now why I didn't settle in this system. I think it was just because I, I had my intention to make a mega farm, so I was looking for enough varied planets to build um, harvesters that would get all the different gases that we need. Uh, and now that's exactly what you've done. I was a bit behind because it's only in the last week or so that I've got all the blueprints to make all of the products to make stasis devices and fusion igniters. Um, but you've done it in style, and you can tell us about about how you managed to get twenty harvesters on each planet in a minute. Do you want to tell me now? <laughs> no, 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 we'll wait till we see some. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I've got seven seconds, eight seconds to go to this base. I'm catching you up. I can see you on the screen again. You want to take a look at the combos first, or the farm? Oh, let's go to the combos, yes. We've got a toxic rainstorm. Uh, have you got that at the same time? I don't know whether they're yeah. in sync yet. Yeah, yeah. So, I can't see what I'm heading to. Oh, is this a nice ocean planet? Oh, but there's plenty of water. Yeah, I can see a nice... Uh, ...island. Uh, there we go. Right, let's put down here. That landing area is not clear, even though there's a big empty island. Oh, it's because it's loading in very slowly. Oh, glitching. Now, when you when you look back at this stream, you'll see that your ship had landed above the ground, and it hadn't loaded in. There you are, though. Hello, first time face to face here with Zep. Hello, how are you? Well, we crashed. Um, oh, I'm you crashed. Starting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you just disappeared. I've just waved to your inert body. All right, okay. While you're reloading, I'm going to look at the combos and hope that I don't get irradiated by this storm. 
So next to this weird plant here, Galactic Hub Budlanger official visit from is that Il Conti Pier? That's um, uh, the, the official Budlanger uh, uh, Galactic Hub, I guess. Excellent. Well, there you go. There's one from you there. Uh, live long and prosper. Yep. Who is this one? Right. Uh, this, oh, Vakan has been here, of course. Yes, thanks for an awesome experience. Well, by the way, Verkana has been very helpful. She has been uh, helping me in uh, testing all uh, the, the the gas farms. She has done an extensive work, so thank you, Verkana, for Excellent. your precious and uh, appreciated help. Much credit to her. Uh, there's one from Dark Lausen here, who he says thanks for all the research, uh, resource rather. Awesome base, keep to the stars, says Freddy Fresh. Freddy, hi, Freddy. <laughs> I'll have to leave a combo. I've got to think of something interesting to leave in a combo later on. There's a big ditch in the floor here. Have you been digging? Yeah, actually, yes. I don't know why. Oh, maybe I. Yeah, I remember. I was uh, fighting with the uh, walkers. Ah. Only you've got one of those hazardous plants that explodes. I'm going to keep my distance from there. One of those grew inside my base not so long ago. It was really annoying. Right, my toxic protection is falling. Shall I, while you're coming back in, shall I fly over to the base? Yeah, um, yeah sure, please. Let's have, have a bit of that I'm one holding. here. Okay, let me back in my ship. There we go. Okay, uh, right, well I'll, I'll take a slow... Oh, I love the ocean in the moonlight, very nice. And here it is, so this is the mega farm, is it? Yep. Let's right. have a, let's just have a camera look at this. Uh, ah, now, I've, yes, I've just remembered, uh, of course, my ship will carry on into the distance when I'm in camera mode in a joined game. So I shall have to go and fetch that later. Anyway, um, right, so here's the mega farm. And... By the looks of it, what is above the water is just the beginning. <laughs> my, my ship is... Right, I think my ship's going to crash into something if I don't get it back. Let me land first and then I'll go into camera mode. There we go. Yeah, how much of this base is underwater? Uh, not much, actually. I'll, I'll guide you. Most of the base is um, above the water. I can see you coming in there. Right, let's go into camera mode. Let's have a quick, a quick look round. Does this base look better at night or in daylight? Um, I like the, ba the base at most when it's uh, storming, actually. Ah. And, uh, you spend most of the time inside, so you basically say... <laughs> there you are. I can see you running over to the base there. I'm just following you with an invisible camera you can't see. So, uh, OK, I'm, I'm just doing a swoop around the base. So this is the mega farm. So we've got how many domes here? Uh, three, six, nine, eighteen, uh, three, thirty-six. Okay, excellent. What have you got in here? Well, I've looked inside. I can see some solarium growing and some frost wart. This is everything, basically, isn't it? Each, uh, each uh, dome has basically has the exact numbers of uh, the plants to craft uh, either uh, um, uh, living glass or liquid explosive or uh, circuit board. Which so level are you? One, I'm, two, I'm, three. I'm still in my ship at the moment. I'm flying around with a camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll do a. Let me just. Shall I peep under? Yeah, I'm going to peek underwater briefly at what's what's coming. Ooh, some interesting things down there. We'll go and find out about those in a few minutes. What is that glowing in the? Oh, you've got an underwater temple. Yeah, that's right. There is an observation room. I'll guide you when we get downstairs. Excellent. Right. Well, There's okay. A, Let's. Summoning station for the submarine, if you want. Yes, I can see it. Okay. Right. I'll get back into the ship. Okay. Right. I'm coming to join you, so I'm just coming off my ship here, and I can see you on the balcony. Now, for the purposes of streaming, I'm in third-person view, but. I find it very difficult to get around bases in third person view, so I apologize for my crash. Right, there we are. So, hello, how are you? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, uh, this, this is a very interesting place. 
like it. Okay, so so guide me. Okay, I've lost you, you already. Do you want to see the domes first, or do you want to see underwater? No, let's do the domes first, and then we'll go underwater. Okay. Also, because there's not much to see in the domes. I mean, I guess you've seen those plants many, many times. We can, we can see some domes. I like the stairs. Okay, first level. Yeah. Uh, on one side, on the right side of the of the base, the... Oh, I just farmed. <laughs> anyway, can you see the, the, the plants in the domes? Yes. Oh, I see. So, yeah, yeah, you've just uh, you've just been harvesting. So, here we've got fungal mode. So, in this dome, there's just the right number of plants to build what? Uh, liquid explosive. So, all of these add up to one liquid explosive. And now, I haven't. I've done a lot of maths on um, harvesting plants to grow stuff, but I've never thought of just having everything for one in one dome. I've just sort of worked out how many domes of mold I need and how many domes I think so is it does it always add up to 16 uh, yeah well basically I don't think it's random because uh, every uh, dome uh, even though they produce different products uh, uh, they hold the exact number of plants needed to that specific product yeah so I think uh, when uh, they change the game and they change the amount of uh, plants into the recipes I think they took in that into consideration so that yeah. you could, uh, you know, make a dome and have everything you needed to craft uh, that particular uh, item. Excellent. Well, that's a really good idea because, uh, like, like, really like I said, I, I, I just have like four domes of mold and then and so on and so forth. It's in the right proportions, but uh, across the whole base. So I'd, I'd not thought about splitting it up for for this. That's a really good oh. idea, actually. That makes yeah, it easy to count. You, yeah, that's right. It's easier when you collect the plants. You just basically do one side, then another one, then you craft the item. You have the recipe, which is uh, right, uh, prioritized. So that's easy. Yeah. Good idea. I'm going to reorganize my base, I think. Actually, I, I'm, I'm looking to build a new base because my um, uh, all the ground, all the land keeps... Uh, re-establishing itself inside my base and it's, uh, I can't get up my stairs anymore nice <laughs> <laughs> I like the ground? Uh, well it's it's on a hill so I, I built it so that it's it's sort of uh, digging into the hill a little bit and then I had uh, the engine room where I've got all my storage cubes and um, uh, what do you call them um, refiners and things i've got a big room and that was that was digging into the into the hill itself and then i built a back cave underneath with all the uh, exocraft and a tunnel out the back and all of that's been filled in uh, so i can't oh. use it anymore <laughs> and yeah, the it, it will refill eventually i mean there's no there's no solution for that it will it does always refill basically yeah i'm hoping that's a glitch they'll fix in beyond I usually tend to use uh, um, the terrain uh, without touching it. I mean, I just yeah. build on top of it. Yes. So if I want to build a cave, I'll just find a cave on the wood side. Yeah. Without touching. Well, my Anyways, mine. Uh, Go on, yes. Oh, sorry. No, I was no, going to say we're talking about your base rather than mine. Sorry. <laughs> we're nearly at the top here, aren't we? Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is the last level. Uh, we didn't mm -hmm. go through all the domes. They're pretty much all the same. I mean, yep. once you've seen one, you've seen all of them. And uh, from here, you can get to the, the forest. Nice. Basically. And there's a nice observation area. Excellent. And you've got uh, um, yeah, a signal booster and a beacon. Now that's interesting because I, I can obviously because I'm in your game now I can see the beacon because it's part of your base, but the beacon wasn't on my radar until now. That's a blue yeah. beacon. You, you can see the beacons if they are in the base radius. Even that's if right. you weren't in my game, you would have been able. The, the problem is the beacon is right inside my base. Yes. So uh, the, the, the icons overlap. Icon override. Yeah, the beacon. Yeah. I should have moved the beacon a little bit uh, far away. But <laughs> well, that, that, that makes I sense, like yes. I, I can see why. Okay, oh, let's go down. There's a, there's a nice balcony for looking out, out to sea. Excellent. Right, so, where do we get underwater from? From here. Okay. I 
Ah, this this is different. Okay. Um, We're just going down. <laughs> yeah, what what I was going to say a minute ago was next time I build a base, my next project I'm going to build an underwater base because, as far as I know, the there's nothing that the water doesn't fill back into the base, does it? Oops, I've got stuck on the ladder. There we go. Okay. No, I love I love no. these glass tunnels. Yeah, it's a lot of the, uh, work, you know, just to get all Oops. the materials. Ah. In summary, in summary, if you yes. Want. Yeah. Where's the thing? There it is. Oh, that's no, the modification one. Uh, with the other one. There you go. Okay, into the Nautilon. Now, the other thing that annoys me is it keeps forgetting the names I've called everything. It's my, I've only just renamed my ship um, that I flew in. In. Oh, this is... Your underwater flora is bulging. Oh, and exploding. Is that hazardous if you're outside of your uh, submarine? Anyway, sorry, right, where are you? Where are we going in our subs? Um, I've lost you. Right here? Oh, yeah, I can see you. Yeah. Can you see me? Yep. Okay, there's um, a nice temple right here below. Yep. One of the biggest fish of the area. You see me? Um, hang on. Yes, I see. Oh, there's a yes. Wow, is that predatory? Uh, yes, it is. Excellent. Before next, um, my home planet of Blue Haven. Were you, were you in Milland? Did you settle in Milland? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was in Milland. Yeah. Do you, do you remember my home planet with uh, all the nice oceans, Blue Haven? No, I don't remember. I I didn't play much with that uh, save. I I was in uh, Essen time with my main. Save, oh right, okay. I wanted to be back in England. I created a new save and I spent most of my time in Milan uh, just finding uh, blueprints. <laughs> well, on on my uh, my home planet on Blue Haven, there were some um, there were some crocodiles, very very large crocodiles in in that uh, ocean there. What's this? Um, glowing thing, because I haven't built under underwater. Is this one of the decorations you get for your underwater base? No, this glowing thing is uh, just um, uh, one of the the, uh, the riddles at the, uh, at the tap. tap. It's not a riddle, actually. It will uh, give you a key. You never Ooh. got one of them? Oh, is this like one of the glitches? No, it's not a glitch. It's, um, it's uh, how, how do you call it? Let's have a look. Just, uh, if, you, if you interact with it, it will yeah. give you a, a special key. I mean, a special order. It does nothing like most of the stuff. It's just uh, nice if you want to collect uh, items. It accepts the waves. I went down to the beach today. There's something about the sea this time of year. It draws you in, distorts the sense of time. Salty frost on stubbly grass, the sand blowing off the tops of the dunes. No one else for miles. Cool. One of the fish is coming. I'm going to get eaten in a minute. <laughs> An ancient key. Ah, I never come across one of those before. Trident key. So do we do, do we know what these are for? No, actually, no. I mean, I don't. I, I don't think they have a news uh, or anything. But, uh, I bet they're I going to. A few of them. So what other keys are there? Are they all from ruins like that? Yeah. Yeah, this these keys, the driving keys, are all from underwater ruins. That That's makes sense. Yeah. And then, uh, what other types of key are there? As far as I know, I've only seen one. Hmm. I bet there's more. I bet there's more. I'm gonna have to Google that now. Right. So, what else is underwater on your base? Um, there is a nice observation area, but I don't, I don't see you anymore. I've just going. I'm just going back towards your base. I'm in between these grotesque pulsating oh, okay, okay. things. Exactly. You see the entrance? Yep. 
Okay, get out of the submarine. Yeah. There we are. Ah. Right, so there we are. Which which way should okay. we go? Up the on, along on the corridor. Left. On your left. On the left. Uh, yes, is this for observing the temple mainly? It's for observing the temple and uh, the how do you call them? These animals here, the one with the eye. Um, oh, those. Um, uh, yes, I think I know what you mean. Um, horrors, aren't they? Underwater horrors, ancient horrors, or something. I always yeah, see them. It's yeah, it's this one. <laughs> I'm just looking at the temple. Right. Um, yeah. Now, I've found the best way of defeating those that, that I've come across is with the blaze javelin. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, with the blaze javelin, <laughs> you can... Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, there we are. Um, yeah. If you charge your blaze javelin up before you approach them and then swim towards them, and the moment they open their eye, let go. It can blow them up before they get to you. And then uh, I've tried them all the, the other weapons, but they're just uh, such a pain. Uh, I, I mean, what I mainly use is my pulse splitter. Splitter, yes. and it's just it's perfect. That's quite fast, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't yeah. I haven't upgraded my everything. weapons very quickly. Yeah, very much. But um, yeah, those things because you you get the eye from them, then don't you? And you can collect those and sell them. I don't know if you can make anything with them. Can you make anything with the eyes? Uh, I don't know. I should, I should try to refine one of those. Maybe yeah. if you don't know, I have no idea. Ah, true. Yes. You've got plant life coming in through your walls here as well. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> that was all the time. Uh, another nice observation uh, area here. Oh, by the way, do you have uh, um, do you have the special items you buy from uh, the, um, the anomaly? Um. Which ones are those? Oh, um, you mean the, like what, the stuff with um, Quicksilver? Yeah, that's right. Like I've the got, aquarium. got some of them. Oh, hello. Yeah, sorry. Were you scanning that? <laughs> was that? Was that just you scanning something? No, I was uh, trying to see what I what I uh, what I had in my inventory. Oh, that was you building something. Yes. Oh, yeah. I can see. Yes, I can see the uh, the holograms now. Yeah, sorry, that was freaky because it was just coming. It was sort of red rays coming past my head. Um, yeah, I've got a few of those. I've, um, I can't. I can't do it here, can I? No way. No. I have to. Uh, no. Otherwise. I've got some of the some of the things like um, the the little robot that flies around in circles and. Uh, just one second. <laughs> Interaction with the real world. Hello, freaky thing. Stop glitching. He's still on the phone, Zip. <laughs> right. Hey, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> I was just thinking we ought to take a photo before we leave the mega farm. So where would you, where would your ideal place be for a photo? I would say uh, above, uh, right on the uh, landing platforms. Okay, right. Let's let's go. Let's go. Make sure I get back in the right Nautilon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I renamed this yellow submarine, but it hasn't remembered the name. Oh, I'm going too far. Where was, <laughs> where was the Nautilon Bay? I can't get under now. Down. Down. You're bouncing off the surface. What's going on? Ah, oh, here we are. Here we are. Oh, I'm going through the horrible bulbous plant things. I always like to try and park them back where they're supposed to be. There we go. Right. Okay, coming up. Oops, I can't get in. 
push it this. Right, there we are. There we go. Okay, with all my fiddling about, where are you? You're up on the landing pad. Yep. Coming up out of the water. You can see through the glass. Okay. Okay, I'm back in the land of the living. Right, where you, what, just, just yeah, stood here, or? Yeah, just right here, looking uh, at the horizon. Okay, yes. Oh, do we want to uh, want to have a looking out at the horizon gesture here? There we are. Okay, so. Now, how do we get us on it as well as? I'll tell you what, I'll get a close-up with us on, and then a distant one with the farm. So this is Pathos and Zep at the Mega Farm. Whoops, wrong button. And a more distant shot with the Mega Farm and our two ships. There we go. Right. Hide the menu. There we go. Some for the AGT album. Okay, right. I'll get back in my ship. Take us to the next destination. Okay, well, the the other gas farms are all pretty much the same. They yep. follow the same format. So, uh, unless you don't want to see all, all three of them, I guess uh, maybe one is enough. Or we'll just uh, choose the closest one. Right. I shall, well, I say I'll follow you, but I've completely lost you now. There you are, yes. Now, of course, each uh, gas farm has its own terminus uh, station. So yeah. If you if you visit them all, you can uh, easily uh, just uh, pop from one base to another one. Was yeah, there a uh, teleport at, at the mega farm just there? Yeah, it was in the lower level on the main structure. Right. You didn't see that. No. But uh, I'll take your word for it. I was going to use it to, to uh, so we could teleport back from these, and then it'll be on my in my memory, and I can just get there. But I, I shall have to just go and travel there on my ship again. It's not a great hardship. Unless I'm running out of fuel. No, I'm alright. So, are you... I can't see your icon anymore. Are you heading to the same place as me? Oh. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I was just going I for know. the first... Yes, I, yes, yes. I've just passed you. Sorry. That's great. I'm going uh, towards planet uh, Erus 17. Okay. Yeah, that's where I'll, you're going. I'll take your word for it. Oh, well, uh, there it did tell me. Yes, that's right. So, what sort of planet's this? I don't remember. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a green one, so it should be uh, the nitrogen, maybe. So that would be, yeah, nitrogen from um, oh, the, uh, lush planets. No, it's not nitrogen. It's uh, no, it's, it's oh, it didn't tell oh, me. It's sulfurine. Ah, so that must be irradiated or hot. Is that right? No, so irradiated gives you radon, doesn't it? Uh, so it's going to be hot or barren, I think. So this looks like a hot planet. Let's just buzz that combo. No, I, there's a That's you. I haven't been able to get close enough to read what it says. Now I'll have to get out. Right, so I'll land at your very convenient landing pla platform. Ah, oh, this has got a real feel of a farm. Oh, you built it right next to an outpost. Good idea. Free landing platform. Yeah, let's go and read the combo. Oh, I've lost it. Where's it gone? Yeah, there it is. Oh, you're at the combo. Yeah. Hmm. Hello. So, hello. Love your style, says Dark Lawson. 
Right, so. Oh, it's definitely a hot planet, this. Oh, you've got one of those exploding bulbous things as well. Don't like those. Right, let's get to the farm. My useless maneuverability. Okay. Yeah, conveniently situated at the back door of an outpost. Ah, so yeah. This is the main area. Mm -hmm. The refiners, um, the terminus, and the base computer right here. Ah, now, so you, you provide your refiners for everybody as well. That's very kind. Yeah. Thank you. And here's the carbon room. Ah, yes. Standing planters. Carbon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, the, you need to make usually, condensed carbon, eh? Yeah, I usually use uh, uh, oxygen in order to uh, yes. increase the amount of uh, enriched carbon provides. Yes. Now, you see, this base is, um, I'm going to through them some minor changes. Uh, mm -hmm. I've, I've done this on one of the three gas farms. Uh, I've changed these uh, small walls over here so that you're able to see all of the gas farms. It's just uh, better so you know if they're charging yeah. or, or yes. not. Ah, the best is... part about the, the gas farm is that uh, um, I've glitched them right on the wall. Yeah. So uh, you can see a piece of the of the gas harvester from outside the base. Uh, I'll show oh, you right. how yes. charge a couple of them if you follow me outside. Now, yeah, you just mentioned glitching there, because this is, this is how you've managed to get more than three harvesters on one planet, isn't it? So tell us how to do that. Oh, I like that. See? I look, yeah, I love the because aesthetics the of that. They're working, and they're working, and the other ones are just, uh, you know, I need to recharge them. Oh, right. Excellent. So, yes, you can see. Which two? Ah, oh, now, it doesn't look like, to me, it doesn't look like they're working. Um, I this wonder one. if... This one over here. Wh which one? Uh, where are you? This one. Yeah, because... To... Oop. I can, sorry, I can't get through the gap. Oh, sorry. Let yeah, me to, to me that doesn't look like it's working. I wonder if it's because... Only uh, because you have to charge them. Yes. Let's have... Object, oh, mind you, it says object in use. Does that mean you're you're using that at the moment? Oh, maybe because I charged them. That one, the one to the left of that one that you're pointing at, um, allows no, me to get in. One. Where try are you? this one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here it's ah, uh, oh, that's allowed me in. Um, yeah, I would have to charge that. But the one behind this one, this is the one that says object in use. Because I've charged it, so that's uh, why it says it's in use. Oh, well, that's interesting. So that if if you've charged it, then I can't get at it. Uh, so, bah, I presume. Oh, I wonder if I could once it's finished. Hmm. So, well, I think you can actually, because I, when I when I come to my gas farms, I usually find a few of them which are empty, and yeah. the other ones are, are filled. So I guess uh, somebody just uh, gets the gas. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, you you were talking about enriched. Um, carbon, because uh, the, the best way of multiplying your condensed carbon is, once you've got condensed carbon, which you can easily make by combining carbon, can't you, um, is if you react condensed carbon with oxygen, you get six times the amount of condensed carbon. You can also uh, refine uh, uh, condensed carbon with, with oxygen, with, which even gives you even more uh, enriched carbon. Yes. Oh, right. So once you made it enriched, you can then multiply the enriched carbon as well. Exactly. Exactly. Excellent. That's very useful to know. I'll add that to my flow chart of how to make these things. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So tell right. Tell us how you have managed to get more than three atmospheric harvesters in one place. Well, you, uh, you use the glitching technique. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, what you do is uh, I'll show you. Uh, when you go on your menu and you uh, find the object you want to uh, glitch, uh, so let's see, okay, um, yeah, let's say a gas harvester. Can you see yep. it? Yep. Okay, perfect. Uh, first of all, you need to have all the materials in order to make the glitching technique work. Yes. Um, number two, uh, you need to go to the uh, 
object on the right or on the left. And uh, you also need to have the materials for that object as well. Oh, okay. Once it's green, then you can uh, uh, quick, quickly switch from uh, that object to the other one. So basically you press X and a fraction of a second after you press X, you go on the right, for example, if you want to glitch from the communication station to the atmosphere, atmosphere harvester, yeah. you have to be very quick in order to do that. So you press X so, first and then the D-pad. And then the D-pad, that's right. Ah. And there's, uh, there's uh, a certain amount of time which has to uh, play between uh, uh, one, uh, uh, the X and the D-pad. But it's just a matter of time. I mean, you, you, you get it once, you, once you've once you done it a few times and then it's uh, pretty much uh, fast forward. Right. Uh, yep. Yeah, the only uh, technique, I mean, I've used it here is that uh, in order to glitch uh, the atmosphere, the atmosphere harvester, what you can do, you can either select uh, uh, the communication station or the autonomous mining unit. So the only way in order to make it uh, uh, easy for me to make to put them all together in such a small space was to use a communication station. Right. But the communication station only can be placed on the ground. You cannot place it on buildings. Yes, so you have to be outside, yeah. You have to be outside and you have to have an area which is flat. That's why I chose a minor settlement. Yes. Ah, well, I mean, where's the, uh, <laughs> yes, just blow, blows my mind. I've never tried, never tried doing this, um, but, uh, yeah, what you've done here is amazing. And I'm, I'm, I will be coming back to use this as well, actually. I was trying to set my own thing up to be self-sufficient uh, and to just know that I'd done the legwork as well, because, uh, you know, coming and pinching all your stuff here, it's uh, using all of your hard work. No, it's okay. You can use it. I mean, I've, I've built it in the heli for people to make use of it. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Um, but I also wanted to... I, I feel easier using your hard work knowing that I've made something on a smaller scale first. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it, it's a shame, though, because uh, the other one looks mu so much better. But the thing is, I don't remember which... Oh, yes. Wait a minute. I... Uh, I think it was uh, just one second. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, I think it was the sulfury. Okay. Yeah. Lead on. Uh, do you wanna uh, do you wanna uh, check the other one? Is it yeah. slightly different and it, it looks much better actually? Yeah. I'll just have a, a quick okay. look from outside uh, here. Can I stand on this revolving thing without? Problem. Yes, I can. That's nice. All right. So that yeah, it's got. I mean, it's got a very industrial look to it. This place. It's really good. Futuristic yet. Oh, I see. You have a uh, a Colossus summoning platform as well. Yeah, that's uh, comes handy when you want to store all the materials in uh, yeah. the process. So, what did you say? What's the maximum um, number of stasis devices? you could produce from this whole mega farm well I guess stasis devices uh, I guess nine right because the the farm that I've set up and and uh, like I was saying earlier uh, when we were talking about this I did I, I didn't know the glitching technique so I've got just got three um, harvesters on each planet so mine spans about 12 different planets um, but uh, yeah, my, I've set mine up to, to make eight, um, but it takes a very long time because I've got to teleport around many, many different planets at a time. Yeah, that's the, the, the biggest pain is uh, to collect all the gas. That's yeah. why the, the key of this uh, system is having three planets with uh, each uh, gas, far, uh, gas farm with yes. 20 gas harvesters. Yeah. Well, my home system's got the right kinds of planets, um, but I've only got three of each in my own system and then I, I built harvesters on other systems that uh, had some sort of meaning to me so I've, I've built a, um, some on Hiverfell 
uh, which for those who don't know is uh, a communal AGT building planet. Um, is Hiverfell in the same system with the art installations? Do you know? No, that's in a different system. That's a different one, yeah, because there's another place I'd like to do a tour of soon. Anyway, do you want, do you want to go to the sulfurine uh, farm and we'll have a look at your different sure. style? Sure. Um, now let me... Sulfurine should be, yeah, the yellow. Oh, you, you've changed ship as well. Where did you go? There you are. I just wanted to look at that ship because uh, you've got your exotic ship there, haven't you? No, it's not this one. That's this one. It's this one. Yeah. We're <laughs> going to Peter 16. Peter 16. Right. Uh, that's not what I like to see you. Hoover Alpha. Um... Is it the ringed one? Yeah, yes. it's the ringed one. Right, off we go. Fleet arrived in Ornbut system. Captain reports potential activities. That's exciting. I've never had that before. There's, there's all sorts of things that you never... You haven't noticed before. Whenever you play this game. There's so many different things. Like I didn't know about the Trident key. We're expecting some uh, extra story content when Beyond hits. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. And maybe some easy galaxy traveling. I mean, I, I don't understand the fact that you're gonna travel backwards in the galaxies, I and mean, it makes no sense to me. <laughs> what you can at the moment, did you say? You can't backwards. Can't, right, I mean, yes. Can, yeah. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I mean, when. Um, I think it was either Next or Atlas Rises, I was. Um, which, which update was it where the, we got the use of portals? That was Atlas Rises, wasn't it? Um. Uh, yeah, that was our whole um, So before we got the use of portals, I was speculating that maybe the portals... Um, no, that's right. The portals would probably be the ability to travel within a galaxy, but then maybe your freighters... Oh, I can't remember what I said, but one of them I, I thought might be able to go between galaxies, uh, but uh, it didn't. <laughs> right, so the this is a... Portals, you mean? Yes. Yeah, those are no the ringed the ring portals that don't seem to do anything at the moment. I wonder no, if right. if they were going well, to be to do with uh, sentinels attacking. The uh, a lot of people were speculating that the ring portals were going to be used as uh, portals for galaxies. Yes. Just like portals, uh, regular portals are for traveling within the same galaxies. Yes. And I thought that was gonna come in, uh, with uh, with next, but it didn't work actually. Yeah. Well, who knows? We've got oh, uh, yes. another surprise third part to the update that hasn't been revealed yet. So, I wonder what that'll be. Right. So we're on a frozen planet. So this this should be a radon farm, shouldn't it? Um, I guess so. Let me check. Yeah, that's right. Radon. So what's different about this one? Oh, come inside, I'll show you. I'm coming in. I was just having a look round at your exotic ship. Right, here I am. Ah, okay. so you've opened this up there a bit. Yes. That's the difference. Yes, so no, no inter... Ah, well, I quite like that. I've installed yeah. some small steps here. Yes. Just in case you fall down, it's easier to uh, get up on <laughs> the main corridor area. <laughs> and it's all open, so yes. oh, you can I see. see all the all the uh, gas harvesters from here. Yeah, that's very useful. Yes, so you can tell when they stop flapping. Exactly. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I mean, these are brilliant. How long did it take you to build all these then? Oh, I don't remember. I guess less than a week, actually. 
Yeah. Let me do it now and then. I mean, just uh, I didn't do it all in one in one one time. Yeah. So it took some time. I'm doing mm -hmm. a similar project on my permadeath safe. Yes. I'm just gonna take and a I'm picture. Home. There we go. Just took up another picture. All right. Oh, so you're doing one of these in permadeath? That's right. Wow. Uh, the only difference is that uh, in uh, permadeath, I'm basically uh, found a nice system right at the center. Yes. Just a few jumps from the center of uh, the galaxy. It has six planets. So I've built uh, the usual four farms. Yes. One is a mega farm. This one is all below uh, water level. Yeah. Uh, another three gas farms, then I have uh, a nice uh, extreme planet, has extreme weather, extreme sentinels. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's a nightmare, actually, the, the planet is called Inferno. <laughs> I've built my main base there. It's a especially, huge castle. Especially a problem for permadeath as well. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, just to make it a little challenging. Wow. And, uh, and there's a nice exotic planet that has uh, no storms, uh, uh, weather is perfect, no sentinels, uh, which is the welcome planet. Excellent. And where, what galaxy is that in, sorry? That's in Euclid. That's in Euclid, yeah. Now, can, uh, can you visit places that are from different modes? So, uh, like, if no, I would... Actually, no. You, you need to have a save in that mode. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, well, that, that actually means that if I travelled there in this save, then I could build on those planets as well, <laughs> and it wouldn't interfere with yours. Uh, right, but uh, the, the only difference, the only thing is that you will see the system has been already named. So oh, that's you true. name a system, that's a, a cross mode. Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, interesting. I might go. Right, I think I'm going to uh, call it a day there. And um, so thank you for showing me around your farms and your, um, yeah, the, uh, the mega farm base particularly. And um, let's, hang on, let's get up into the air in my camera again. There you go. I do like these, the style of these. I think they're very good. So you've managed to make something which is both functional and iconic. Yeah. Oh, now there's... Yeah, have a real farm. Oh, there's a... Another exotic ship landing. That must belong to somebody because it's landed on the ground. Who is it? Or have you, you... You've just <laughs> summoned just another one. So show up. You're showing off your exotic ships here. Because I, I was taking a little tour of the other one a minute ago. I, I like your colour scheme. What have you called these? I didn't call them, actually. I left the original names. But ah, um, okay. this save, all of my fleet is red. Yeah. Excellent, let's get a photo of that. Right, more for the gallery. Okay, so this has been then Zepp's uh, mega farm for as much stasis device and fusion igniter as you like. Lots of gas. Oh, you're calling them. <laughs> and there's your hauler as well. Um, so uh, thank you very much, Zepp, for taking me around. Yeah, it's been... Uh, it's been very good, very good to uh, coincide with you, and uh, what a great build. Thank you very much indeed. I'll see you again. Bye.